So this will be our chemical process and this is the diagram I got from the simulation. Now let me analyze it very quickly. We got these as a fresh feed or let's say pre-feed. I also got these as my initial feed. So we got only two main streams which must be inputted. That will be at temperature, pressure, compositions and flow rates. I also got certain, I got one, I got two, three, four, five and six streams of energy. So those must be also added. Remember that in Aspen Heises, you are required to add a energy stream. So that's one of the main differences compared to Aspen Plus, that in Aspen Plus, this will be set up as a duty calculation, whereas in Aspen Heises, you require a stream. Anyways, let's check out the unit operation. We got a chiller, we got a heater, we got a reactor, which will be acting as a combustion chamber. We got this turbine, most likely because we want to take advantage of the combusted fuels. We got this valve, which is also a pressure changer. A pump is also a pressure changer. And apparently we have off-gases reactor liquids, which if you already know, in a combustion chamber, you are not likely to produce liquids. So we're going to see that later. Light gas and the cane, as well as our destillate. So very important to understand that there are several streams as final products. And yeah, as you can see here, we got the heat exchangers, the heat exchanger and the chiller. We got a reaction or a kinetic unit operation. We got momentum operations. Technically also the valve is a momentum operation. We got a separation process, which is the flash drum and the distillation column right here. 